Welcome back to the Rock Academy. In this video, I'm going to be covering the PC Painter desktop software. Let's get into it. So the PC Painter desktop software, this is the software that colorizes the raw LiDAR data that was produced in the PC Master software. There's another video that came before this that covers the full workflow of the PC Master software. If you want to get more information on that, you should definitely watch that video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to colorize your LiDAR data. Let's get into it. So in the previous video, I used the PC Master software and I generated a point cloud that you can see here, PPK Cloud 1. And now I'm inside of that data folder again. Now, before you double click on the software, there's actually two ways of operating the PC Painter software. And for the most time, all you're going to do is right click this and you're going to just click process because this is gonna do it using the command line version, which is much faster. You don't need to see everything. It just is gonna colorize the, the point cloud. So it's a really fast, easy way to do it. And this is actually my recommended way of using the PC Painter software is to right click and just click process. But for the sake of this video, I wanna show you some more advanced features that are contained inside the PC Painter software. So I'm going to click open. So that way I can show you some of the more advanced features that aren't entirely applicable to you every time. For the vast majority of your work, you're just going to right click and click the process. So let's go ahead and do the open and I'll show you this one because this is a little more advanced features. So now we can see PC Painter is opened and it's loading the trajectory. It's loading the point cloud now. And it's checking in the photos. So there was 162 photos. It's gonna check all those in. And what it's doing, it's actually checking in each photo's, the, the position and the orientation of the camera from the trajectory from the original PC Master software. So it's getting that very, very high accurate and highly calibrated attitude information as well as the position of each individual photo. And the PC Painter software is actually really cool. It's actually utilizing some pretty advanced tricks in order to colorize your point cloud very accurately. It's not just projecting every photo directly onto the point that I was underneath it whenever it took that photo. No, it's actually gonna be checking to see if it's occluded and what point is closest to the correct photo to give it the best color for that exact point. Awesome, well it looked like the software just rendered and opened up our project from last time. And we can see here, we have all of our LiDAR data and here on the trajectory, we have a bunch of camera positions and poses. So if you want, you can just click this produce LES and it's just gonna colorize the point cloud. That's all there is to it. You just open it up and click produce LES and that colorizes the point cloud. You're all done, that's it. But while we have this open, like I said earlier, I wanna show you some more of the advanced features in PC Painter in case you wanna do something like tune up your camera system or recalibrate it because maybe you bumped it or, or something happened. It just happens, so I might as well show you how to do it here in the PC Painter software because it's a pretty cool feature. So on each individual photo, what you can do is you can actually right click on this and say switch the camera here and check this out. Boom. That camera photo is now in real time overlaid on top of your LiDAR data. So I'm gonna go ahead and change my position to get a little bit better and closer in here. And so we can see how well aligned and calibrated the camera is with respect to the actual raw data. So the other big feature of the PC Painter software is being able to calibrate your photos to the LiDAR data. So again, like I said, if you were to uncalibrate the, the system by knocking it around, you can always come in here and tune it up. So you can adjust the focal length here in camera calibration. So right now it's at 24.511. So let me just let me just expand this by quite a bit. We'll just change it to two five. You can already see up here, it's misaligning with that, that cylinder there. So I'm bringing it back down to two four and you can actually do this in real time as well. And we can also play with the angular offsets, the yaw pitch and roll. So it's at, you can see right here, I'm just gonna move this like a big number so you'll see what happens. You see that? You can see the photo moving in real time and lining up with the objects. And there's a whole guide that we have online that shows you exactly how to iterate through this and calibrate your system. And that's pretty important. If you ever were to experience something that happened, at least now you know you have a way to recalibrate your system and get the best possible data from your R2A possible. So that being said, the calibration looks awesome. Everything looks pretty spot on here. 
So I'm simply just gonna click Produce LES. And now the software is gonna go ahead and project the photos onto the LiDAR data and make it that colorized point cloud. So like I said, the colorizing, it's done best by just right clicking and clicking process. That'll run all this in the background. It goes much faster, no visualizer needed. But if you need to calibrate your system, you can always open it in the PC Painter software and use those features to look in real time and calibrate the camera to your LiDAR data. It's pretty cool, but usually you don't need to do that. So that's it, that's all PC Painter does. It just takes the photos and colorizes and also gives you a really awesome interactive environment to do that calibration. So now I'm gonna let us go ahead and finish, but once it's done, we're gonna have that colorized point cloud and you can move on to the next video tutorial series using the Rock Cloud to upload this LiDAR data, create a new project, reproject the data, create contours from it, and so much more. All right, the colorizer just finished. We can click over here, back into our folder, and we can see the PPK Cloud One colorized LES is produced. And there we go, that was the PC Painter desktop software tutorial. So the best way to do the software, again, is just to right click that PPK PC Painter file and just click process. No need to use this visualizer because you don't usually need to use it. You just wanna colorize the data. So just right click and click process. It'll just do it. And it'll generate that PPK colorized LES file right here in that direct directory. So I hope you found that tutorial, tutorial useful. I'll see you guys here next time on The Rock Academy.